Hey guys, I'm Robert Renman. Today, we're going to take a look at the Mixolydian mode. I'm going to explain what it is and how you can use the concept of thirds to apply it to the fretboard in a musical way. We're going to harmonize the Mixolydian mode in thirds. And this is a very useful concept for learning a mode or a scale all over the neck. I'm also going to show you a few cool lick ideas. Now, if this is your first time here, please subscribe so you don't miss anything. Today, I'm using this Hagstrom Viking, which is a guitar I've had for a long time now. I still love it. It's easy to play and it sounds great. I've upgraded this one with some sweet humbuckers from Brian at Porter Pickups. Brian makes some amazing pickups. Check them out at porterpickups.com. Then I go into this pedal, the 12th Street Special Overdrive from KU Amps. This is my go-to pedal, and it's been designed with input from myself. This is a fairly low gain pedal that has a tonal character that I really like. And then lastly, I go into the Axe FX2 from Fractal Audio. I use the JCM800 amp model. And finally, I go into Logic Pro, where I add a bit of reverb and delay. And that's it. This time, I'm gonna go for a rock style sound and application. Although the Mixolydian mode is often used in jazz, blues, and country music, for this video, I wanted to emphasize how you can use it in rock music. Let's have a look. Here is the E Mixolydian mode played on the E string. So the formula is that we have a half step between the third and the fourth note. In this case, G sharp and A. We also have a half step between the sixth note and the seventh note. In this case, C sharp and D. All the other ones are whole steps. So, the Mixolydian is the fifth mode of the major scale. I'm using E Mixolydian here. So which major scale has the note E as its fifth note? The answer is A major. Let's count the notes. One, two, three, four, five. And what note is that? Yes, it's E. Now, the fifth chord in the major scale is the dominant seven chord. So, when we stick to this mode and play over E7, we are playing E Mixolydian. Even though the notes are the same as the A major scale, it's not the same thing, because the chord tones for E7 are different than for A major. So you want to be able to easily find these chord tones and be able to emphasize them at any time. The chord tones for an E7 chord are We play the first, the third, the fifth, and the seventh note of that mode. One, three, five, seven. You can visually see it easier this way. And then for an A major chord, we have one, three, five. And again, for E7. So, you want to be able to easily find these chord tones anywhere on the neck, and also be able to emphasize them at any time. Now, a really good way to practice a scale is to harmonize it. In this case, we're going to use thirds. I'm going to start right here. This is a major third. I'm starting with the root note, E, and then I'll play a major third above it. 
so it's a double stop. This note is two whole steps above the note I started on. Next, we have a minor third. Looks like this. Compared to the major third. And it's one and a half whole steps. Compared to the major third. Then we move up and play another minor third. Then we have a half step here and we play a major third. We move up and play a minor third. Whole step up and another minor third. And a half step and a major third. And then we're back to where we started, one octave higher. On the next string set it's going to look different because of the way the guitar is tuned. The major third now looks like this. That's the same thing as but now it looks like this. The minor third now looks like this compared to and then we get Now for the next string set, the D and G strings, the shapes are going to look the same as they did here. Except we're starting here. Next we have the A string and the D string, and the finger shapes are the same as previously. We're starting here. Now if we compare this mode with the minor pentatonic, we'll see that they actually have a lot in common. Here's the minor pentatonic. So, if we play from the minor pentatonic, all those notes are in the mixolydian mode. This note is not, because the mixolydian mode has a major third. So in other words, we have four notes in the minor pentatonic that fit inside the mixolydian mode. But we have a major third. Now I'm sure that you've heard these types of mixolydian thirds many times. Stuff like this. And you can play the chord tones for an E7 this way, an E7 arpeggio. Or maybe think like this. Here's another sliding idea.
Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please add a comment and let me know. And don't forget to subscribe. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.